Hey guys, it's that time again. It's the Steam sale. This time it's the uh, spring sale, which is on to uh, 21st of March, 10 a.m. Pacific, or that's uh, 5 p.m. UK. Now, before we get onto the list, let's go on to the ones which are not on sale, because you're going to ask me about them. Derail Valley is not on sale. Railroader is not on sale. Misinski is not on sale. Diesel Railcar Simulator is not on sale. No, EP17 is not on sale. Factorio is not on sale, and Railroad is not on sale. So what is on sale, I hear you ask? Well, let's look. First up is Railroads Online. What can you say? You build a railway, you connect industries, and then you try and connect, uh, well, do deliveries and make money. £19.59, so that's 30% off. Um, bargain. Game two, Railroad Engineer. Now I put this one next, because it's very similar to that one, actually. You basically do the same thing. You build your tracks, you connect industries, and you actually want to make some money out of it. Now, this one is very, very cheap. It's £4.25. A single dev. Very much recommend this game. It's a great little game. Go and buy it. Now, we're on to the actual train driving simulators now. So, it's, uh, well, it's in the name, really, isn't it? The professional version of this is also used in railway companies for engine driving purposes. So, if you want a realistic simulator, it's this one. The price, 20% off, £46.80. It's not cheap, this one. So moving onwards, we've got Simrail. Now this one's a lot cheaper. It's 30% off at £20.65. Once again, you you can get a few tutorials you um, which you can go through first. There's, there's actually a sigling thing on there as well. I've never tested it, but uh, yep, it's a good little train driver. Next up is, well, is this the daddy of them? Because it's one of the oldest. This and trains are pretty old. They're, what, 20 years old now, but this one. Um, you've got two modes. You can actually build or you can drive. And there's lots of DLC, different places around the world you can drive. And it's pretty cheap at the moment. So core pack is £5.99, 70% off. Or the deluxe version, again, 70% off at £8.99. Which leads us quite nicely onto Train Sim World 4, the fourth iteration of the game, which builds upon the, uh, the... Now, this game can play all the, the previous routes, which are designed for 3, 2, and 1. There are various versions you can buy. I would I would say go for the deluxe or special, really. Now, you can buy regional, which is down the bottom here, but they seem to be you know, they're quite pricey for what they are. And you get, you know, these ones are less money, you get more. Trains 22. Well, what can I say about this? It's a train simulator, but it's also a creative game where you can actually make your own routes to drive or you can automate it so like I, I enjoy doing, which uh, so you set the trains off doing their own thing. There are two versions of the game. You've got Trains 22 or you've got the Platinum, and the Platinum's the one to go for now. It comes with a lot more routes to play by default. And also it comes with a new route editor, which is they call the surveyor tool. The route editor is what is the, the GUI which you use to actually build the route. Now, if you if you're just into driving, I would say Train Sim World is the more immersive game. But if you want to actually uh, build routes, then this as well as drive, then probably it's train simulators to go for. Now, if you want, if you did buy this one, you could can, you might be able to rent this one because Trains actually has a rent scheme. Now, there's basically you can get yearly or monthly. These are not on sale, but I'm just telling you about them. If you were to rent the game, this is the platinum version you would get. One month is £5.79. And if the gold axis is basically the, the platinum version, everything you get with the platinum version, plus you get to play all the routes. So they say all, oh, but I'm I'm betting there are a few which is held back. But pretty much everything on their catalogue, you'll be able to play it for no for no additional cost. And that's eleven pound thirty nine for the actual month. It's something you could probably dive in and dive out if you didn't want to play it too much. But if you did want to play it for a long time, then this is the way to go. Now the other thing to to think about, and I know I'm compl complicating it here, is if you are a creative person. On top of the purchase price, you do need to actually get access to their download center. That's a bit like the uh, Steam Workshop, but it's not free. There is a cost involved. When you rent the game, that's included, but when you buy the game, you have to pay that on top. You can pay it for, I think, a week, a month, or a year. Um, so prices vary. Next, we are on to Rolling Line. Now, Rolling Line is a very creative game. I love this game. You can play on desktop or you can play it on in VR. You can play the pre-made ones, which they're doing here, 
And since you have a little control, you're holding your hand, you can point at a train and then you can make it go forward and back. Or you can go first person, actually go down onto the map like you, yeah, like he's done now. And you can climb onto it and climb in and press the buttons on there. So it's a simple game and you can build routes entirely by yourself if you want. Now this game is currently 30% off, it's £10.84, well worth the price and should be in your library really. Tracks is an even simpler game. Now this hasn't been updated for a while. Now he has uh, sent a few messages I've noticed actually saying that he will be up doing further updates but whether that happens or not there's two modes of the game. There's the open players so you can build what you want and there's some levels which uh, give you some tasks to do within the levels. Maybe you have to get some people to somewhere within a certain time. It's five quid, 75% off. Um, it's on Steam, it's on Switch. It's a good little game. Okay, let's move on to Tycoon Games, Transport Tycoon Games. And well, Transport Fever 2 has to be the gold standard of modern games. Released in 2019, they're actually now just about, they're just uh, messes that are bringing out the last update for this game, which could mean they're starting to work on the next one. We'll have to see. The game's out on console, it's out on PC. It'd be interesting what the new game comes out, when it comes out, and what it's going to look like. Well, this one's 50% off right now, it's £16.75. Or you can get the deluxe version, which is still a few extra things here in there for £20.25. Uh, um, wonderful game. So sticking with the, uh, I suppose, yes, it is a tycoon game really, isn't it? It's Soviet Republic, Workers and Resources. What well, again, fantastic little game. You don't play this game for graphics, but you do play it for playability. It's very granular. You can get very involved in what you're doing. And you can spend thousands of hours just on very small things because you can actually have a train which builds a track for you. You don't, you don't have to let it yourself. You can say where it's going to go, but the train can build it for you. It's much more granular than Transport Fever. It's, it's a city builder rather than just a transport, but it's got a lot of transport sort of areas in it. It's uh, 35% off at of £22.74. Yes, well then we have to move on to City, Line, city Skylines 2, don't we? We've got to mention it. We're going to mention that and we have to mention this one. 10% off, 37 79 I don't have to tell you all the problems it's had, do I? Right, Railway Empire 2. This one's far more expensive. It is 36 29 20% off. I like it. You got a campaign, you got sort of got an open play. Unlike the first one, which was very small sort of areas, and then you had deals to which had opened up different areas. You can play very large area on there. There is DLC for it already, but uh, the scope is bigger on this game. It's a, it's a good looking game. It's got controller support. Actually, Transport Fever 2 does have controller support now as well, because it's on uh, consoles as well. Out of the two, I would go for Transport Fever 2 rather than this, but I, th I still think this is a wonderful game. Train World. Another tycoon game. You basically, you choose a map to play on. The map's uh, got various regions. You've got one unlocked at the beginning. You have to earn money within that region to actually unlock other regions. Um, the game's got various eras, so you start off with early sort of steam trains and then you can progress through to modern day. It's quite a simple game. The graphics are not the, the best, but the, I can see it has been improving them. Track laying is not as good as Transport Fever, but it is there. And he has tried to improve it to make it, to speed it up, I can see. Uh, I played it early on. There are some videos on the channel early on, but uh, he, ha he certainly added other stuff to it. For instance, the, before you just had the ongoing jobs for Intercity and it'll just continue, but now you can can also get one single off jobs, single jobs. Yes, um, if you're into if you're into Tycoon, as you might like this, twenty percent off at eighteen pound thirty nine. Box of Tycoon. Yes, I bought this one oh, six months ago, something like that, and played some of it on the channel. Again, it's very similar that you start off with the region and <laughs> you start off with the region. It's a region has some cities. They want certain things. You deliver those things to the city. Um, as you play, it becomes more and more complicated what they want. So you might need to create a factory which can combine various industries, various things together. It's 20% off at £16.79. Yes, it's very similar looking to a lot of other sort of voxel type, type games, but it's probably one of the better ones, which is why I've included it. Rise of Industry, another sort of voxel tycoon type game. Came out uh, way before uh, voxel tycoon. Oh, did it? Uh, yeah, that's 21. This is 19. Good looking game. Very much cheaper as well at the moment. It's only £3.74, 85% off. But there again, it has been free on Epic. 
it is a voxel game it is isometric um i think there's yeah you can go on to first person i think on this as well it's been a while since i've played this to be honest with you proper tycoon game you deliver things to certain places you make money from it. it's a very simple premise really certainly for that price it's well worth it sweet transit well another sort of isometric game fun little game actually i, I, I we played it a little bit on the channel I played it when it first came out. I played it again with the when they came out with another update. As you can see from there, you basically build your tracks, you deliver goods, you make money. So, and this one's slightly different to the other ones. Well, you set your town down first. You probably you go look on a large map. You will decide an area to put your town down. You'll probably decide to put it near some elements on the map which you want to you want to use. Maybe it's coal or stone or something. Put your town down, and as the town grows, they want more things, and so you need to actually do more and more deliveries to it. And we use a train network to do that. And so the train network will become more and more complicated as you actually do. Um, it's a great little game. It works on Steam Deck quite well. I do recommend it. It is currently, it is £10.49, 40% off. Yes, I enjoy this. I think you probably would too. Train life. Yes, mostly negative. Um, I wouldn't give it a mostly negative. We tried it on the channel. I quite enjoyed it. Um, it's a shame because it's a it's a fun little game. The premise: you are there are some tutorial levels which you can uh, get you know, get used to how to drive and what to, what you want to do. But essentially, there are various uh, locations on the map. You start with a starter engine, then you will go and do deliveries. It might be passenger. It might be goods. The only problem I had, I started on one corner of one map and the things I wanted to get to down there took me half an episode just to get down there. Uh, yeah, but for the price, it's £5.09, now 70% off. Now, I think it's a lot of the ne negativity here is because I think I believe the developer has now given up on updating the game. That's a shame. It's actually on PC, it's on Switch. But what is this original price? So it's 16 99 But for six quid, I think it's worth it. Rail grade. I really like this game. It's got a good two game mode. Open player has got a sort of a campaign as well. It came, originally came out with a campaign. It's on Switch. It's on, it might be on other consoles. I'm not sure, but it's on, obviously on Steam. It's on Epic. I bought it on Epic originally. Very positive reviews. And there's a reason for that because it's very good. Um, set in the future, you're on some planet somewhere and um, you, you've got to deliver goods for people. So on the campaign, you're given a task on a map. Certain tasks by delivering a certain amount of things within a certain time. And if you do it, you win. If you don't do it, you lose. That's pretty much it. But on the open play, you you choose a large map and you put your things down. So you can you can actually build a city. So how I played it when I played it through on uh, on my channel here was I decided oh, what, I wanted to try and build the city up as large as I could make it. And you do that by delivering uh, goods to the city. And the more goods you deliver to it, a diverse amount of goods, the... Uh, the bigger it grows now it does have its issues i like a game where you will set a route up then you assign trains to that route and then so if you change the route all the trains change but on this you have to you have to change you have to do it train by train by train so if you change one train all the other trains will still do carry on doing the other thing so we had something like about 40 different trains running on here and it got very confusing where each of them were going and so i'd say this is a little bit of a negative but even though even with that fun game fun game fun game i would certainly recommend it at 35 percent off at 16 pound 24 very very much uh yeah i very much recommend it so that leads us on to the next one which is station to station this is like a brick it looks like a brick game doesn't it so reminds me of sort of a lego type game but it look, does look fantastic. Again, it's a it's a campaign basically. You're you you're given a level. There you go. That's the level selected. Was you click on the one you want to do, and then you're certain tasks with it. And new tasks open up as you've done some tasks, and you earn a bit of money, and you've got time, and you have to do it in a certain time. It's it's a puzzle game. It's very very much a puzzle game. But it's a fun one. It's currently eight ninety nine at forty percent off. Um, it runs on the Steam Deck quite well. It's got controller support. Yeah, why not? Well, there's the list. PD Railroad is not on it, really, isn't it? Anyway, that's going to be it. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you do, please press that like button. If you see more, please subscribe. Press that dingy dong bell button. You know what it does. See you next time.
Bye-bye.